Okay, folks, welcome back. Um, obviously, in the last episode, we panic lost everything. Uh, that's okay. We did gain the dinosaurs, and I think in the last episode I mentioned this, but we didn't lose our pick, our axe, pike, or these crossbows, and uh, or our dinos, which honestly the most important thing. But we're gonna have to get really built up really quickly here and I'll probably do a montage of it because we need to do it quickly before I lose all our stuff you know unofficial you know we might have lost all the stuff in our boat and whatnot which was a lot but it's not the end of the world really uh, we can get all that back the toughest thing would be the Thames and I did keep the blue get the blueprints which is kind of cool um, let's see here. Let's get some more thatch. I'm doing thatch by hand because I'm going to show you guys a little trick with frenzies or any teams that you do. So I rarely ever, 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 ever bring resources back to, to where I'm working. And for today, building our base and all of that, I, it's the same as going to apply. In order to build this really quick, I'm getting thatch here. Rex has helped get some thatch earlier. And I'm going to show you a trick you guys can do if you want. Oh, let's get back over here to... Where did you go, buddy? There you are. Um, let's go over here. We'll pick up some fiber. I can show you a trick that works really well. Oh, we're going to have to kill this raptor, too. Get over here, buddy. And a lot of people, I actually don't, um... Oh, let's put the berries back in. I want to be dragging them around here. Um, but anyway, so there's two ways to do this. So if you're just out on your own walking, you know... Oh, jeepers. You had a lot of berries on you and stuff that we didn't need. Um... All right, let's put the wood in, in, in him for right now, just so I can show you guys. What I always do when I'm crafting, let's say if I'm building a house and I need walls, is I'll take, um, let's go down here. I'll go to this, these your uh, crafting side, and I'll go ahead and I'll drag them down into the hot bar. And then they will pop up white. If we have them, and you can do this really quick, it, it works out pretty well. So you can see it turned white. Now we're going to take, uh, I'm going to actually craft the one just by hitting that button that it's in. And then we're going to put this in the slot. And then you're going to see how quick this actually does go. Um, see, now like this, and then we're on to the next one. And uh, just like that, another one. And this is, this is official, like this let's play is all unofficial. And this is during the week on normal rates. So this is how I always build super quick, guys. This is number one way to do it. And then actually with the frenzy, it's even cheatier because the you can go ahead here. We'll get rid of this. If if you have a frenzy, it works pretty darn well. You just collect a bunch of of this. And then you go ahead and pull up your fiber and all of your stuff that you need. And uh, we are doing, I'm going to do large walls right now. But you can see, look, we're already going. We're going on to the next one. And that would have been a lot of regular walls. You know, that's 20 just off that swipe, you know. And there's another four here. So it goes by really quick. I just thought, you know, we're putting up this base. I'll give you a really quick tip on that front because... Um, I need to build as fast as I can, and I actually don't think we're going to have much problem getting this up. And we're, I'm going to actually probably uh, maybe get the interior done today. But I'm going to start the montage, and we need to get a wall up around this place today. That's for sure. There is there is Rexes and stuff here, so we do have to do that that way. And just so you know where we are, because I didn't even think to show you guys where we are. We are down here. The boat crashed where I'm putting the arrow. 
I got my guys ashore, and then I found this spot here at 8060. There'll be a marker there. I'm just up and going up and down the shore getting thatched, just doing stuff like that. But I figured I'd show you where we are, because to be honest, I build, I've built near here before, and I didn't really necessarily want to build in the south. But because of us losing the boat in that, we don't have much choice. We're going to have to put up a base here. Um, and I'm hoping to do it pretty quick so everything is safe. And honestly, who knows? It might might turn out well. One of my, one of my favorite spots on the island that I ever built at was because I had no choice to build there. It's on uh, built on black sands. You'll see down... I'll probably bring it about or talk about it more in the series later, but it's at about 45 45 is um, the area I'm talking about. And it was, oh my gosh, Alpha Lydia. I think Rick's, Wex, Wix was moving over here, and I think they had the same problem too. All right, so I'm going to go see what is going on. In the meantime, you guys enjoy the montage. Okay, progress report. <laughs> Most of the base is done. I'm doing some interior stuff and painting like a dork because I really like it. And uh, actually, it does look really cool to me. Wood doesn't paint black very easy, but it is what that is. And we, in the process over here, are taming a doad. And honestly, this is going to be a good tame. And I normally, I wasn't going to do a doad right away like this. I mean, it's a good idea to, but he was right by our base, and this is a really rare spot to get a, a 120 like this. This is a pretty decent level for over here. You normally get one or two spawns right over here along this beach. If you guys didn't see where we are on the map, we are down here. And um, this is a nice little spot here. We're by Beaver Dams. And this is working out pretty good. I got some more touching off before I show off the base. Actually, I might put a behemoth gate in somewhere too. I'm not entirely sure on that actually though. Uh, just so that in case we do tame. Like there's a, a 140 Bronto over here. Well, that's a 40, but he's got a buddy. There he is. She's over there. A 140, and that's awfully tempting to do. I have everybody's dinos in the base. There's Thunder Thighs. Killed a few alphas, and you can see we've got some upgrades to our stuff because of that. Getting it. And then I helped Rex tame a 145 Carno. That's actually his, not mine. He'll be picking that up here in a little bit. But we just still have the uh, the Terra, the Thunder Chicken, and Level Energy, and we're going to be adding the Doid next. 
I'm hoping it teams up about 182. We're going to see where it does team up, though. All right. That's enough for this progress report. I'm going to keep going. Oh, hey, we are back. And as you see, we got the base all painted up. I see that over there I have a one that needs to be painted blue. I know this looks corny and dorky, but I am corny and dorky, so that's what we're working with. Over here, we have Kelly's got her base up, and her, she's got a new uh, low-level Rex, but he's not bad. And if you see here, here's Rex. He's working on building right now. Uh, I think he's probably out somewhere gathering resources, knowing him. Um, and, oh, he's... Yeah, it looks like he's doing stone. Oh, yeah, it looks like he's uh, changing the wall out to stone. And we have cleared this area out. We'll get into that in one second. But I do want to show you the base. I am going to do some more off-camera. Obviously, I don't want you here for every waking moment of it. It's just a base. Uh, we got. We, I did make this little room in here, a pen in here. And we, uh, I don't have it filled, obviously, so we'll have to do some taming. And I want to make this part of it look like an actual house, I guess, maybe a bathroom. And man, we'll see about that. This is going to be the fun side, just for when I got time. And then we got our storage, which I'm going to paint off camera, and a fabricator, and a smithy. Basically, we're just set up like we were on the boat with more room. I didn't want to make any crazy, stupid advancements, but I think in the next episode, um, obviously we're not done with this one, but I think next time around we're going to work on maybe power and uh, kibble. And speaking of kibble, the one of the easiest kibbles to make is uh, an extraordinary kibble. If you have the, um, if you have a frenzy, and right now. Frenzies are, I mean, it's double tame right now, so I definitely want to do that. The exceptional kibble, and because if you guys don't know, exceptional kibble is just frenzy eggs and uh, focal chili rare, I make sure I got it right, rare flowers, measurable berries, and fiber. So there's no prime to go with it. And if you guys don't know, it that one is the second best one. And it can actually do all of them, but, you know, the top couple teams. So that's what we're going to do for our one. Eventually, we'll get into that top kibble, but I think it's going to be a lot easier just working on that one. So let's take Miss Thunder Thighs out here. Oh, yeah, and I used, uh, that's Kickball, our new doe I used him to gather up some stuff today. And speaking of that kibble and the frenzies... Yeah, there is a low level frenzy out here and we really do need a taming pen out here so what i'm going to be doing here if this fat buck ever gets going here she's a little hurt we took on a two alpha cardinals a minute ago that were by the base and i think um as you guys can see i got a new crossbow from that a mastercraft one so it's pretty snazzy and we, when you're building a taming pen, a taming pen is a necessity, especially when big fat pig moles are in your way. Feel me? Get out of here. Um, are you going to move? I mean, I'm going to, I'll kill you otherwise. And then you move. All right, let's make sure all four can go. I want to make it a bigger one so that if we need to, um, we can do a Rex over here as well. Looks like it'll snap all of them here. So, all right, we're going to do that. We're going to go over here. I made some excessive deals. But anyway, I want to build a truly good um, taming pen here. And the easiest way to go about doing it, let's see here. Um, we want to make the ramps on this side. So, let's go... Hmm... I think we're going to go like this. We might go three, actually. My original plan was three for Rexes and stuff, but... Um, yeah, we'll see here. Uh, let's 
We're gonna need a dino gate in here somewhere. And I believe we're gonna put it here. Let's work on the dino deal. Um, let me see, is it crooked? Uh, actually, it's really not that bad. It's just a tiny bit crooked. <clears throat> and man, having a good taming pen is night and day difference. Now, this is a bigger one, but it'll help us out. And I think eventually we will have, uh, man, do we want to go three high? I'm thinking we should probably go three high, shouldn't we? Yeah, that might change how we do this. And I might have to do a little bit of work off camera. But anyway, you do this. You build a ramp over on this side so you can have them follow you in. And then you just run out one of these doors and shoot through it. So we're going to have ramps going up this side right here um, and I might have to do that off camera when it's not lagging uh, but anyway this is and I'm building out of stone so basically nothing can hurt it we're not in an area where gigas or titans are at there we go but I think we're gonna have some issues with the ramps normally if you do too tall it's really easy let's go to the frenzy I normally would do this too tall, but since we might get a Rex here, I'm going to do it three just to be safe. Um, but if you go ahead and do, um, let's see here. Um, can I place it up there? Yeah, if you do two, you normally, if you do too tall, you can just normally do one of these with ramp, wooden ramps because they go a lot longer. And you'd have no issues at all. I think we're going to be smart, do it with stone stairs, which means I'm going to have to do some ceiling work and foundations because as you can see, they're not going to, it's not going to let me place out too far here. Um, it's going to say needs foundation work. So that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and do that and bring you back when we're done with the final product here, guys. Okay, we are back. And all I did to make it think it had foundation, more support to get it farther down was I just put the foundations out a little bit. I'm going to put some ramps here so you can get up and down there as well. Um, but you can do this cheaper if you wanted. You can snap, uh, let's see, where are they here? Let's, I'll show you guys right here on camera. Um, you could actually go ahead and snap these to the foundation, see like that. And that will actually work too. Once you do one, you can snap another one to it. You just got to line it up right. And it, oh, well, that one's a little, but you can see here they're snapping. And you just, you just do that, and that works the same here. Um, but anyway, guys, there's a lot of work that went into this episode. This was a crazy episode. There is a water, but can we destroy this, please? Not yet. All right. Somebody had a water pipe here from long ago. But, as you can see, we just come over here, have something chase us. And, well, actually, you'd want to do it on foot normally. Just doing it with the frenzy so you can see. But you just have it chase you or you on a pterodon, as you guys see me have to do the frenzy. And then you just run through and run out. And I know a Rex can't fit through that gate. We'll just break the gate if we do a Rex and place it down. They're not too bad to do. Um, but anyway, guys, it's going to be the end of this episode. I can't wait to see you again for our next journey in the next episode. Have a good one, folks. We'll see you later.